All right, everyone, uh, we're back. Let's see here. Uh, when we left off, we were um, over by the some oil fields on our way back to the HQ. Uh, and it is, what time are we out? Oh, wrong button. It's about 11 o'clock at night. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, continue on our way here. So we need to continue heading east. Now we did uh, in the last video encounter some. Um, Where's my frame okay, going? Go. Jumping around a lot. Okay, it's smooth. It's smoothing out. I guess it was just loading up some texture and stuff. All right. Um, so yeah, last game we um, did run into uh, one enemy soldier, uh, and there's a very good chance that there will be more. So um, I'm playing it cautious. Especially considering uh, this gun's, we'll say, effectiveness drops significantly at night. Uh, ten o'clock, half a click. Um, okay, what's one? Um, all right, so a couple things I wanted to uh, mention. Covering um, fire. Almost me off when I say covering fire. Um, all right, so I've already gone ahead and forgot what I was going to say. Um, uh, it'll come to me. I, have, uh, that, that's, I hate it when that happens. Um, okay, uh, that's one thing. Uh, I had mentioned in a news video uh, that I was going to be doing Serious Sam 3, um, you know, in October. Um, for those of you who are not a fan of Serious Sam, then you can just sort of glaze over this and, you know, just forget about it. Um, I'm, I'll just keep on moving all along. Actually, I'll move a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, you can just forget about it. Now, uh, what I'm about to say. It's obviously not for you. For those of you who are fans of it or never heard of it and be interested in it, uh, it's basically a. It's a high action. Combined mining company, drilling area, restricted area, authorized personnel only. Okay, well we'll go through here. Uh, it's a basically it's a high action game. Now, it's not um, <laughs> it's not military simulation at all. In fact, it's not even military. Well, I guess it is kind of military. Well, no, I'm just gonna say it's not. It's uh, along the line, along the vein of you know the classic shooters, the uh, Doom, the uh, Duke Nukem. Um, except this here will not suck. Um, I'm fairly confident of that. So I don't think we'll have to see a Duke Nukem Forever thing happen. But anyways, the release date for that got pushed uh, back to November, which means um, obviously I won't be let's playing it because it's not even out yet. Although I did get my pre-order in. So as soon as that does come out, I believe it's November 22nd, that will be making its way onto my channel. Alright, doing a lot of talking here. I'm pretty sure it's safe, but uh, I'm still going to be cautious till I get back to the HQ. Um, so yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, um, there's a short game that's very, very dear to my heart that I would like to... Uh, go ahead and let's play. So uh, that'll be going up on uh, the channel around um, well, around the time that you're probably seeing this video. Um, it's not a first-person shooter whatsoever. In fact, the uh, I'm, I'm not going to say what it is yet. I'm going to kind of surprise everyone. Um, I don't. Anyone watching this? Uh, I don't think a lot of people watching this will really care about it. But anyways, it's a game from 1986. It's something that. Uh, one actually is the game that basically got me into video games. Uh, it's like I guess you could say it's essentially my first game, so uh, real special for me. So, anyways, um, enough of this kind of chit chat. It's actually kind of um, so far looking around at the, the atmosphere and, and that in Pakistan. I think it's kind of neat. It's got a, a nice dynamic look to it. Like it actually feels like there's. Uh, Stuff. Yeah, there's stuff kind of happening. 
Uh, for the most part, though, areas are pretty deserted. Um, but I guess that's just for you know for the the warfare mode. Uh, there are you know mis missions where there are civilians. Um, where am I? Okay, I'm really close. There are missions where there are civilians and such, but um, obviously we're not playing on one of those. Um, now, one thing I mentioned, I think it was in my first episode. I'm pretty sure that's a, a friendly. Let's see, that's our base. It's a friendly tank, so, yeah. Um, and I think it was the first episode I mentioned that, um, you know, we wouldn't be getting into uh, air, um, because I think due to the limited number of um, places I selected, um, I had assumed here that, um, I'll show you on the map, for example, right here, the airfield, medium air uh, I had basically said that um, I didn't see any circle, uh, circular, we'll say, um, icon, uh, because with, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, in, Cher in Cherneris, um, the previous uh, Let's Play I did, um, if you were going to be able to use an airfield, there was a circle, you know, there was a circular uh, icon, um, and that wasn't here, that wasn't the case here. Now, I went to the other um, mode for tax and the other warfare mode, uh, the three-way war, um, and it didn't, I, I chose all, so it, it, it had every icon lit up, and even then it didn't have the circular icons on either of the, the airfields, because I think there's another one down here, yeah. So it makes me wonder if um, it just doesn't use circles, and this here will actually count as, you know, owning the military base, or if um, it's just not available, which I doesn't se doesn't make sense to me. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and let's see here. My units. Does it give me the option for fixed wing? As soon as you load, no, it does not. That might just be because you know I'm here. Um. So yeah, I, I apologize about that. Um. You know, maybe if I went up there, I'd be able to get uh, aircraft. Um, maybe that's something I'll try a little bit later. Uh, let's see, what's the tasks they want me to do? Recon. Well, you know what? I've got a few guys. I'm going to fill up my squad a bit, grab a couple of Humvees. We're going to go recon this, and then we're going to go up, head up here and see if we can uh, get air, uh, some air support. So let's go ahead and fill up my ranks here a bit. Uh, we've got a sniper. Uh, we've got a two anti tanks, a medic, and a machine gunner. You know, what? I'm going to grab another machine gunner. I'm going to grab another marksman. So that'll fill up my three four. That way, I'll have straight numbers through. Um, I'm OCD, so I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, with the Humvee, you know what? You know, what? let's go ahead with what's SOV. Say, eh? Yeah, because I'm used to uh, usually a descriptive text here. Um, okay, um, I wish there was something describing it because I'm not sure exactly what, what's what. Let's just go with two of these. Two empties. Like, like I said, we'll find out if, uh, if we can get some fixed wing aircraft. Um, like I said, I'm absolutely horrible with them, but I figure, you know, for the sake of uh, demonstrating things, we'll see at least if it's an option uh, during this Let's Play. Uh, if not, then um, well, I may make a whole little series just based around the fixed wing uh, aircraft, uh, just to show those off at least. 
Uh, but, you know, if I'm no good with them, then I'm just going to be wasting a bunch of money. So we've got an empty one here. I'm going to say... Two, three, four. five. Get in that car. Gotcha. Oh, and there's my other one over there. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Get in that car. Waiting. Standing by. Roger. Okay, so how does the gunner work on this one? Actually, let's go to gunner so you don't want to. Okay, so I guess we get to control it from the inside of the vehicle. Standing by. Vehicle left. Half click. Waiting. Okay. That's actually pretty handy. That way, there's someone's not sitting out and exposed. Um. Okay, so yeah, whoever's sitting in this seat here, you can see they got their own little uh, control stick and their own um, screen. Uh, now it looks like number seven has not gotten in. Seven, get back! Roger! Seven, gonna get in that car. Roger. That's because I went and jumped in the seat. But it, it messed him up. So he's got that. All right, cool. So let's go recon that point right here. So let's get everyone. Oh, move to zero seven one one zero zero. Move to zero seven one one zero zero. Are you gonna go? Guy? Yes? No. Maybe. Oh, when you feel like it. Seven. Move to zero. Seven. One. One. Zero. Zero. Ask a mic. Move to click. To our right. There we go. All right, so now that we're moving, now we're moving out. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I might need to do a little bit more research on that because, uh, like I said, I went into the three-way war and uh, capturing the airfields was not available then either. So um, I don't know what's up with that. Because I've seen videos where people have been, um, you know, they've been able to use the aircraft. Um, I don't know necessarily if it's the standard warfare uh, maps, but I said I guess we'll find all that out. And let's see, the current time is about almost a quarter after twelve in game. I'm curious, I want to turn off my night vision and see what it looks like. It is, it is still pretty. Uh, it is still pretty bright. But still, definitely better with the night vision on. All right. So we'll do a while we'll run away there. Uh, let's see the total situation here. Um, green, I'm not so worried about. Green will be able to squash. That's typically just, you know, independents. Um, little local militias. Not a big problem. Once they're gone, though, they're pretty much dealt with. They don't have a, an organized base uh, really set up. Now, a red, on the other hand, now that's the actual Takistani army. Um, so we know that they're set up here. You know, I'm willing to bet they're right down here, and they've got this airfield as well. Now, I wish... I, I'm going to have to check and see if there's a mod for this. I wish that the uh, AI would make use of um, aircraft on its own. Um, but they, they tend to shy away from it. Um, unless, you know, ordered directly by a human player. So, that's... Uh, 
something I should uh, look into mod-wise, and it's on my Arma 3 wish list. Hmm. Okay, so I'm up to like 19,000, so I'm hoping that if we get here, we can uh, get some airplanes. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, CBA. Oh, okay, that's to do with uh, some of the mods I've got. Tunes. Notes. Briefing tips. You see team names. Press U. Your team switch next key. In. You can also do the limited buying at captured cities to do those cancer and for weakness. Increasing the uh Okay, U's not really doing anything. Alright, so let's see where where are we at? Driving along. Admiring the scenery. That is some nice dirt. Look at all that dirt. That's some nice sand. That is some like A plus sand there. Yep. <laughs> now overall I'm um I'm not that happy with the frame rate. Uh, when I first started it, it was really nice, and a lot of times when I'm playing on here, it's uh, really nice just because there's not a lot of trees, but um, once again, I think we're getting that um, CPU bottleneck, especially because I'm running fraps. When I'm playing alone, I can, you know, performance is a whole lot better. Ooh, we're about to go down a hill. I wish you could get third-person perspective with uh, on expert mode watch this thing going up and down hills and valleys. So, so far, um, it does look like the, we'll say the U.S. Army's got some nicer toys than the, uh, the Marines. Um, you know, this, this setup right here, like, the gunner's not exposed at all. It's just an automated gun up on the roof that he commands through this uh, this monitor, that's pretty sweet. Because um, I know uh, when I was in Churnus, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to be the gunner. Uh, I was like, oh, great, I'm exposed, I'm right out in the open, I'm dead. And uh, I know I've taken out a number of, uh, you know, the, the, the terrorists in uh, Churnus that are on, the, you know, the back of the, the pickup trucks. Alright, so mission Standing complete. By. Oh, well, let's, well, let's all head over here. Three, regroup. Three, move to zero, five, niner, one, one, four. On the way. Seven, move to zero, six, zero, one, one, four. Roger. Move half a click north of Razman. Alright, and we're off. You know, I, I, I sort of learned my lesson from uh, my... my uh, first uh, Arma 2 uh, Warfare Let's Play, um, when I would consider pausing the game, uh, that's always when something would happen, usually, you know, me getting shot or dying or getting attacked, um, you know, all the, um, well, you could say all the good stuff, but all, at the same time I could also say it's probably just bad luck to stop recording because then the computer decides to be ruthlessly mean to me in uh, your absence. Uh, so I'm actually, uh, that's why I'm trying not to uh, to pause the video when uh, when traveling um, just because I, I, when I'm when I'm doing a let's play I like to give the, the full experience of the game um, I find when things get too cut too edited um, you know you miss out on certain things you don't uh, you don't see as much or you, you, you can't uh, comment on stuff or you might see something and you're like oh I missed it uh, you know it's trying to it's like trying to uh, videotape a, uh, a child, you know, 
or get a picture of a child. You, you know, you have to have it at the ready. You have to be snapping because that kid is going to do something crazy and uh, you will miss it. <laughs> and you'll be like, no. Uh, but yeah, so it's the same sort of deal here. I'm just re recording the whole thing. And, you know, worst case scenario, if it really is honestly super dull for an extended period of time, um, I can always just maybe learn how to uh, fast forward things in uh, a video editor. You know, maybe just speed it up two times, you know, put some nice elevator music on in the background. You know. Okay, where are we at? I'm getting impatient. Oh, dear goodness. Alright, well, you know what? While we're traveling, I'm gonna see. Like, I've already seen the situation. We've got one place here, and. Oh, wow. They've got armor driving through Falar, so that's one of our places. Uh, where's our HQ again? Our HQ is up here. But it's still kind of concerning that they're just driving armor up through Falar. Okay, there they're engaging. So we've got these guys here. I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure that's a mechanized, so that's like a Probably like a Humvee or an APC or a light APC. And it's going to be engaging this uh, armor unit, so it's probably a, some sort of. I'm going to say a lighter tank at this point, but. Not 100% positive. And all these little blue dots. Um, no, like, um, you know, if you've watched the Churneris uh, videos, you're familiar with it. Oh! What the? Okay, that, that's that's for us. Okay, sorry. Uh, if you watched the Turnus video, you already know. Uh, however, if you're not familiar with it, um, the, with these videos, um, what I explained was on the GPS. You know, it's, it only shows you like your squad leaders, so you can uh, sort of navigate. So you're probably wondering, well. If you said that, then why can you see, you know, an enemy tank um, icon here? And that's because, you know, teammates have reported that there is a tank there, or you know, tank squad. Now you notice it's kind of faded out. It's because that information is actually a little bit more dated now. What happens is over time, you know, the information might become outdated. It might show an icon there, even if it's bright, but that tank may have moved somewhere else. So it's basically it's old intel. Uh, it's just basically what you're being fed. And these little blue dots are vehicles. These vehicles have the uh, the GPS built into them. So that's why you can still see them as well. Um, so we're on a military base with a big airfield. Waiting. Um. Hmm. Seven. Move to house. One o'clock. Roger. Move half a click. North. Um, so let's see, we've got the option to gunner seat, driver seats, gear, or eject. I don't see any options to buy units. You know, I probably could have just saved a lot of time just to look this up online and then uh, got, you know, saved you guys a lot of viewing trouble. So for that I do apologize, but I really don't think that... Um, yeah, I don't think you can uh, purchase the fixed wing on this, uh, this map. So if you are a bit more familiar with um, Takistan, like I said, I've, I have played Takistan very little. Uh, before now. Uh, if you're a little more familiar with it, um, maybe you can let me know. Um, wait for me. Oh, I get out. Um, maybe you can let me know, you know, why the case is. Uh, maybe, I don't know, the aircraft are only available on the, um, the two-teamed uh, warfare and the three-teamed even, you know, the one I, other one I went and checked, uh, just it doesn't allow it. So, um, you know, maybe that's the case. Um, if, you know, if anyone uh, 
has any, maybe if there is a way for me to do it uh, now, um, hey, let me know. Um, otherwise though, uh, I don't think uh, there's going to be any air in this video, like any fixed wing aircraft. I'm going to break up the, char the choppers uh, again, but like I said, fixed wing aircraft. To be honest, I suck with them. Anyways, uh, you know, right before I go anywhere else, might as well pick up this. Oh, move half a click. Eleven o'clock. Move half a click. West. So, I'm gonna move over there. Um, no, like like I was saying, I'm horrible with the the fixed wing aircraft. Uh, I tend to overshoot uh, my targets. I tend to miss a lot. Um, and the AI, like I said before, doesn't really take advantage of air. So. Uh, Seven. Let's... Move half a click. Eleven o'clock. Solid copy. Move half a click. Two hour front. Once again, I gave three and seven the order to move, and they decided they were going to move as a group. So he's waiting for number three, and I just, you know, I got fed up, and I just said, seven, go ahead over there yourself. Because um, I'm fairly certain we've. We own this area. I'm not going to be any threat. Um, but yeah, AI does not like fixed wing aircraft. Um, actually, I don't like any aircraft, but fixed wing also. Um, and I find they're even like I played around with the mission editor. They they, they tend to be pretty useless uh, even when you put them in jets, unless you've got like a laser targeter and you you can actually um, have it set up so that you know you can actually mark targets for them. Um, so they, they they are, let's say very. Oh, his back sticking through the the seat. Uh, they are very very limited when it comes to. Um, Three, fall back. Um, what they can do with uh, air. Um, so once again, I'm like I said, I'm sorry for no. Um, some no air, uh, not a lot of air in this video. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is I noticed there's NUR. I think I'm pronouncing that right. NUR. Um, that's our next objective, and there's not really too many other people up here. I think there's one other group. Um, I'm gonna get us to drive on over here. And I think I'm gonna actually enter here from the north. So, I'm gonna... three, move to zero, two, one, one, two, three, seven, move to zero, two, one, one, two, three. Mike. Move half click northeast of oh, Noor. Noor. All right, we're going to Noor, and we're going to go ahead and try to take that town. Now this is a little ways away. Um, you know, I do have a couple things to do. Although this actually looks like it'd be neat to see well, in the daylight. It looks like we got like almost like an oasis type thing here. We got a green, so we got some trees. We got some blue, so we got some nice water. Um, but yeah, I got a feeling that it's not going to be all that stunning at night. Um, and like I said, I did do have some cool things to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, pause. I'm going to actually stop the video here, and I am going to actually restart it. When we, let me see, oh, I can't see it, when we get a little bit um, closer to Nur, or Nur, or Nur, or however you want to say it, uh, I'm going to say like the, 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 my guy in armature here, uh, Nur, and uh, so yeah, we'll pick up uh, where we left off uh, next time. Until then, game on.